Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm gonna be taking you on a full-on food tour in Ensenada, Mexico. The goal today is to hit at least five spots. It's about 7 a.m. and I'm starting my morning off bright and early at Carnitas Hermanos Ramirez. Heard they got some fire carnitas, so let's eat. All right guys, I'm really excited for this. I mentioned it's 7 a.m. This is what you want for breakfast, every single part of the pork in this taco. So right here, I dressed it up nice. I put some chili oil, some onion, cilantro, a little bit of lime and then red salsa. But yeah, this looks so good. I got the mixed taco, which is buche, coritos, masiza, all that in, in this taco. Oh, wow. Look at that, this is huge. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's crazy. It's spicy. <laughs> There's a perfect amount of pork skin to lean meat balance. It's lean, it's fatty. That chili oil though is spicy. Oh my gosh, I put too much. <clears throat> wow, I might need a water. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I put a little too much salsa. I had to get a water, but they don't have regular water here. They have this lemon water, which is actually pretty good. It's really refreshing. I just didn't expect it to be this spicy at 7 a.m. <laughs> Another bite, let's go. Wow, look at that, all the texture. This meat is so juicy and fresh. They started boiling this at 5 a.m. and it's now 7, so it's finally done. And all the locals are just starting to come in. I was like one of the first ones here, but man, this is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Man, that taco was so fire. Great way to start my tour. Gotta come check them out. Garnitas Hermanos Ramirez. It was such a cool spot. Great food, great service. We're gonna keep moving on though. Our next spot is Tacos Angelitos. Word in town is they got the biggest adobadas fit. So let's check it out. So we got cabeza right here, carnesada, and then right here is the adobada, the famous big spit adobada. Got everything con todo, and then I got a side of Habanero onions. All right, it's only right we start with the adobada. Let's try it out. That looks, that looks good. Cheers. Mm. Wow, that's good. Look at all that juice, it's still pouring out. Mm. Wow. Let's try one of these, this might be spicy. Habanero onions. Some of the best adobada I've had. It's really good. They got down in there. Last bite, cheers. Mm. All right, next is that cabeza taco. Cheers. Mm. That's really good. I don't know, the meat looks kind of crazy, but it's so good. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Adobada still takes the cake for my favorite here so far. Next is that carne asada taco. It's wrapped up like a cone. It's just oozing out. This one, they got the tortilla a little bit crispier. Smells so good. Cheers. Mm. That guac is so good. The main flavor of that taco is just a super charred barbecue flavor. And it is really tender. Wow. are in the area you definitely gotta come check them out tacos angelitos the adobada here is so fire i could have ate way more of those but we gotta keep this tour moving this next spot right here is the reason why you come to ensenada this is the banger we're at the famous sabina's restaurant aka la Garerense. legends anthony bourdain and mark ween said this is one of the best seafood restaurants in the world Ooh, gracias all right, before we start on this, we gotta go with those tostadas just so they don't get soggy. All right, let's, let's go with the campanchana. This, this is the one that has everything. This is like the staple. This one comes with fish, shrimp, octopus, sea snail, mussels, squid, and clams. Man, that looks so good. They're, they're known for their chili oil here with peanuts and you're supposed to top it. So let's ask for some. Ooh, gracias. Ooh. So this right here is their house-made 
basically chili oil with peanuts, cacahuate. It's not spicy, it's more for flavor. And this is what you put on your tostadas. This is the main topping. But yeah, let's, let's load it up. Wow, and all that oil is coating the seafood. All right guys, it's gonna be hard to bite everything in one bite, but we're gonna try. Mmm. Wow, that is so juicy. Man, it's like a mountain of seafood. And the tostada is really good too, man. I need another bite. Mmm. Mm. Man, yeah, once you bite into this, it just explodes and the crunch is crazy. Like the texture, everything. It's soft, it's crunchy, it's juicy. Every texture you can think of is in this. And they pack it, it's like a mountain. Mmm. Mmm. This alone is worth coming to Ensenada for. This first tostada I've been into, wow. Just so that one doesn't get soggy, I wanna try it when it's crunchy and fresh. All right, let's go. This one has a crab base, which is a little bit more creamy. It looks like they put mayo in it. Comes with crab salad, shrimp, octopus, and scallops. All right, let's load it up. A Little bit of the oil right here. Mmm. Wow, there's definitely mayo in that, and I love mayo. The base is more rich. The other one was limey, this one's creamy, so totally different. It's good to go back to back to those because the flavors are so different. The textures are pretty similar. And of course, this adds so much. Wow, I need another bite of that. Mmm, I'm really enjoying this one. I haven't had anything like this, nothing compares. You gotta come here, you gotta come try it. Just, these two first dishes are just out of this world. They're hitting. Mmm. So good. All right guys, we're on the cocktail now. This is the campanchana, which is like everything. It has sea snail, clams, scallops, shrimp, octopus, everything. It looks so good. Look at how juicy those are, they're huge. They're so plump and, man, I got two big shrimps in this one bite. Let's see what it's about, I mean, I've had it, but this is, I'm hyped. Mm. Mm. Wow, so refreshing. The juice in there is so good, I could just drink it. All right, this next bite is gonna be really good. This has scallops and octopus, and then a little bit of, of like tomato and onions. Okay. All right, let's go. Mm. Everything I've had so far is just like, the texture is just so good. And, and of course the flavor is, is wow. To take a break from the seafood, we, we ordered the ribeye taco. On the bottom is a flat layer of black beans and then medium rare cooked ribeye. And then they put these really, really good pickled onions on top. They're like red pickled onions. And then this like cream sauce. Man, even the tortilla is house made. Look at that. It's like crispy and a little flaky and soft. This is a, this is a good sized taco too. It's not, it's not no small taco, but let's try it. Mmm. Wow, the ribeye is so tender. And then the cream sauce. This is, this is a really rich taco, it tastes super rich. It's just so juicy, it just keeps dripping out. Wow, and then there's actually a, a, a little cheese on the bottom. It's like melted on. Cheers. Wow, it's a good balance because we ordered mostly seafood. Then to have this, wow. You gotta get this, you have to. We're gonna move on to the next taco so it doesn't get soggy. And Let's see, it's, we got the taco gobernador, which is like a creamy chipotle style shrimp. You could either get it with shrimp or marlin, but we got it with shrimp. Shrimp is my favorite. It also has the same pickled onions as the ribeye taco. And then there is, there's actually some like grilled green and red peppers, and then a bunch of that chipotle sauce. Chipotle sauce is my favorite sauce in the world. I could eat so much of that sauce, and they load it here. That's, that's why I love this taco, is that chipotle sauce really hits. Cheers. Mmm. That's so creamy. Like, look at all that chipotle sauce all over the tortilla. Man, that is so good. They put the perfect amount of sauce. Seems like they put a little red chili marinade on it. Let's take another bite. Man, look at that. It's so, so heavy. Mmm. These tacos are so rich. Explosion of flavor in your mouth. That's the thing, when you come here and like you order this spread, it's like everything tastes so different, but so good. Like they all balance each other. Cocktail's refreshing. 
And then those tostadas are just super hearty seafood on a crunchy shell with all these textures. And then these are just like your warm meals because those other three seafood dishes are, are cold. I would come down here just for this. And Anthony Bourdain and Mark Wien said this is their fav favorite ceviche style restaurant. I could con confirm that, it's so good. If you guys are in the area, definitely come through and check them out. Sabina's restaurant, some days their cart is open, La Guerrerense, if you can, I would go get their ceviche there and then come straight here after to get the tacos. It's literally right across the street. You step out the restaurant, you can see them. All right, we gotta keep this food tour going. Let's go to the next spot. So now we're at Tacos Original. I passed this place like 20 times and every single time it's always popping, line out the door. Today is the day we're gonna finally try it. I'm hyped, so let's check it out. Yeah, when you first walk in, the smell, it just hits you. The tripa, all the cabeza, everything is just steaming off the grill and then the big spit is roasting at the entrance. And then they have all these mountains of like toppings. They got onions, cabbage, even a guacamole salsa, and then all these like grilled onions on this separate grill. It's crazy. Tripa or gracias. Dang, these tacos are huge. <laughs> gracias, couple horchata. Wow, this is this tastes like King Taco or Chapa. This is good. This is good. I actually, never had a tripa taco with cabbage on top. It looks pretty good. And then under the tripa is actually oh, it's crispy. And then there's a, a layer of guacamole on it. This looks really good. And then they put a little bit of onions. It's huge. Ooh, gracias. Adobada. Sí. Si, yeah. All right, and then we got. Adobada taco right here, little onions. Oh, it looked crispy too. And then the, a little slab of guac. And then we got this one with the flour tortilla because we've been having corn tortillas all day. So, well, look at the juice already. Got to start with the tripa. Let's move this over here. Look at how big this taco is. This is like two street tacos in LA. Juice is already popping up. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Wow, so good. Crispy, and the tripa flavor isn't too strong. It doesn't have that odor, it's like very clean. And there are some fatty pieces, so it balances it out. It's not too crispy. And then that avocado salsa, so good. The cabbage is a nice touch, but it's a little too much. I have to take a little bit out. I could eat these all day. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. This is one of the best three bites I've had in Mexico so far. This last bite's gonna be so good because all the juice is like at the end. Here, let me let me put one of these on there. Two of these, and then a little bit of this, and then it's the perfect bite. Let's go. That was legit. One of the best bites today for sure. Wow. Wash it down with some horchata though. So good. All right, next is the adobada. I'm excited for this one. I love flour tortilla. And this one looks homemade too. It's a little thinner. Let's get it with the little lime. Actually, we're gonna try the red one. Hopefully I don't regret it. Look at that. Wow, that looks good. I'm hyped. Let's get this bite. This is a huge taco. They hook it up here. They all the tacos, everything. Stacked with meat, huge tortilla. But look at that. It's like, this is like a mini quesadilla. That juice, wow. All right, cheers. That's really good. The marinade is just so juicy. And the pork juices are just exploding. And this sauce is really good. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I wish you guys could try this. This is legit. But look at that. Just mouth watering. Wow. Mm. I love the tortilla. The tortilla is like absorbing all the meat juice. And the onions are a perfect crunch. But these are so good. I, I might need to order these on the side next time to go.
Wow. I'm looking like a savage, but I don't care. This is so good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this last biter, this whole thing last biter. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. That was really good. Done for this spot. Check them out. This is a really good taqueria in Ensenada. Tacos original. Gotta get the tripa, gotta get the adobada, and I'm pretty sure everything else is good here. All the ingredients are fresh. But yeah, you guys definitely need to come. On to the next spot. That looks so good. That was fast, gracias. <laughs> All right, we ordered like a minute ago. The food's here already. Right here we got some grilled onions, some lime, radish, and cucumber. And then, whoa, look at these tacos. These are huge. So we got some lengua right here, some green salsa, and this is on the flour tortilla. That looks so good. And then this side is the campechano, which is like three different meats. Asada, al pastor, and tripa. Look at that huge taco. Let's go. Mmm. The lingua is so fatty, so beefy. It tastes like a strong beef flavor. Mmm. The habanero sauce is really good too. And they made the flour tortilla very crunchy. Mmm. This lingua is really good. I totally forgot. They gave us a bunch of these grilled onions I need to try. Mmm. Onions are a little sweet. Wow, they know how to cook some lengua here. The so last bite, cheers. Mm. So good. All right, this next one is the campechano. It's a mixture of meats, adobada, carne asada, and tripa. Three different meats, it has a different colors and textures. This taco is very vibrant. Man, look at that tortilla, it looks so homemade. It's like powdery on the outside, it's so soft. And look at the juice already dripping, I haven't even bit it yet, let's go. Mmm. That's the meatiest taco I've ever had. I don't know what I'm tasting. There's so much going on. The main flavor that comes out when I first bit into it was a charred barbecue flavor from those coals right there. Guac on top is so good too. Mmm. Wow. I've never mixed these three meats together and it's crazy. That was a great day of eating. There was so much good food. Yeah, this spot is really good. Definitely come check them out. All the spots I ate today were killer. Everything was good. You guys definitely need to come down here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.